Brenda Mellon, thanks very much for coming in and talking to Accountants Ireland for this video. You've just been elected President of the Institute, congratulations. And it's been quite a while since we last had a President from Cork. Yes, it's been 50 years now since we had a President of Cork. The Cork Association goes back a long way to the Charter, 125 years ago, but now for the first time in 50 years we have a President based in Cork. We have a very vibrant local society and local set of professionals in Cork. Uh, a mixture actually of practice and business, which is great. I'm a member in business, which gives me a, a, a different perspective as well. And, and I guess one that regularly needs to be brought to the fore in the Institute. So it's a, gr it's a great honor and a privilege to be uh, leading the Institute. It's a non-executive role and you get to chair a number of important forums. It's not an executive presidency, but it is an important way to give your input and to shape some of the priorities and agenda for the year. And of course, you're stepping into the president's shoes at the 125th anniversary of the Institute. So it's going to be a big year. It is going to be a big year. And it's, it's a year, I think, where we plan on reflecting a little bit on some of our key roles. So uh, how we educate our, our students of the future, how we can make a contribution to the ongoing recovery and economic growth north and south of the border. Um, how we can improve governance in Irish companies generally and in a whole host of other things which I think we need to reflect on where we've been and the, how we've grown with the societies we've been in but also where we want to go to. Um, other priorities during the year obviously there's a role in terms of chairing council and a number of the other processes that go on you know as, as the uh, year goes on but uh, there are other things I would like to achieve in terms of giving a voice more externally to uh, things we want to achieve priorities for ourselves, both to our members and to several external audiences, including the legislatures north and south. I think we have a big contribution to make to rebuilding economies and societies. So it's going to be a busy year ahead. And obviously wrapped up in all of that, I want to get out and meet members through typically the district societies in each location. So I'm going to invite members along in each district society area to come and meet with me and ask their questions in an open forum, because I do feel we have uh, a great engagement at that level and questions to be asked and questions to be answered and that's all leads to a healthy institute. And I know you've been very keen on communication for a long time and this fits in very well with your own commitment to good communication but uh, you've also hinted that social media is going to be on your agenda for the year ahead. I presume that there's going to be a, an element of that to do with the institute's contribution to the gathering. Yes, I mean, I think social media is very important, probably for younger members. And I think a number of people of my age group, I'm not a great participant, but to date, I am a LinkedIn member and I hope to go a little bit step beyond that this year and try to uh, get some debate going on LinkedIn through some written material and also on Twitter. And also I think through Facebook, people will be able to see pictures and a bit more, a few more visuals uh, in terms of what's happening around the Institute. We also will be doing a number of interesting initiatives for the 125th anniversary and the gathering about where chartered accountants have ended up around the world so that they can give a visual representation of the interesting roles they have and the cities and locations and destinations in which they live. So all of that is, is part of the adventure and part of moving on with technology, which I think all of us need to do at whatever point in our careers we find ourselves. So that's another interesting aspect of the role that uh, pushes you beyond sometimes to let your uh, current level of comfort but that's that's part of the interesting and exciting part of being part of an institute that has members at all sorts of age groups in all sorts of ways that uh, we need to reach them in terms of communication. Well Brendan thanks very much for coming in and talking to Accountants Ireland about that today and of course anybody listening or watching the podcast or the podcast will be able to read more about this in the June issue of Accountancy Ireland. Great well thank you for the opportunity.